would Jesus spank a child? If so, where would you point someone biblically who can't imagine him doing this? Um, if Jesus were married and had children, I think he would have spanked the children. Um, and I think the place that I would go to help a person see that he would when they can't imagine that he would is, number one, to uh, Matthew 5, where he said, not a jot, nor a tittle will pass away from the law until all is accomplished. In other words, all the law and the prophets stand until they're done, and the law says, spare the rod, spoil the child. That's a paraphrase. The book of Proverbs says, if you withhold the rod, you hate your son. Jesus believed the Bible, and he would have done it. Now, that um, does not address the heart of the issue. The heart of the issue is, why, can, why does this person feel this way? What worldview inclines a person to think that you shouldn't spank a child? <laughs> Where did that come from? Well, it comes straight out of this culture, I think. It's just, there's a sign that used to be on the, side of the 35W bridge on the right as you go north and the sign simply said this, never, 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 never hurt a child. See that sign? That's all it said. And spanking is equated with hurting children. It's against the law in Sweden to spank a child. It's against the law, I think, in some states in America. I'm not sure that to spank a child. Well, I will go to jail over that issue. I mean, Talitha's almost to the point, I mean, she is to the point where I, I, don't, I don't think in terms of spanking my 13-year-old daughter anymore. But I did when she was little. Uh, and, I mean, I could give a whole theology of spanking here, but maybe, maybe boil it down to why, why does this person feel squeamish? And my guess is it's a wrong view of God. I mean, deep down, does this person believe that God brings pain into our lives? Because Romans, I mean, the Hebrews 12 makes the direct connection between God disciplines every son whom he loves and spanks everyone that he delights in. My paraphrase. And the, the point there is suffering. God brings sufferings into our life and the writer of the Hebrews makes the connection between the parenting of God, of his children, through suffering. Well, th this is a wrong view of God. God uses suffering to discipline his children. So do we. Now, you don't damage a child. You don't <laughs> like that and big, a big black eye or break his arm. Or the Children have little fat bottoms so that they can be whopped. When, when, my, when my sons were three and four years old, at their worst stages, drawing with orange crayons on the wall, they knew what was going to happen. So one day, just give you an illustration of how this works emotionally. I found an, an orange mark on the wall in the hall upstairs from a crayon, just about Barnabas's height. And he's three or four. And so I, I get Barnabas, I said, come here, Barnabas. Did you make that mark on the wall? Yes. <laughs> At least he's honest. I said, we have a rule against that. You know you cannot draw on the wall with your crayons. You're old enough to know that. Yes. So what should happen? Spanking. I said, that's right. So I take him in the room. Wah! You know, I'm loving this kid to death. <laughs> swap and he cries easy so he cries and when he's done crying big hug and and I say don't do that again okay daddy loves you we don't mark on the wall okay three minutes later bouncing off the walls with happy 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 now if I had said to him 
you go into your room and you sit there and you stay there until you feel appropriately guilty and then we'll see if you come out and do the right thing. What a wicked way to punish a child. I mean, spanking is so clean, it's so quick, it's so relieving. A kid feels like he's done atonement and he's out of there and happy. Uh, these modern, I sound like a real old fashioned guy now. <laughs> these modern, you know, time out, go sit in the corner and think, baloney, give me a spanking, I want to go play. <laughs> I just think this, I just think spanking is really healthy for, for children. And it's a it is a measured deliverance of a non-damaging act of mild pain that makes the child feel the seriousness of what he's done. It's, it, it is not beating. It's not abuse. There is a clear difference. The very word spank exists because there's such a thing as a loving way to whop a, a child on his behind or his chunky thigh. <laughs>